Hello everyone, I'm Gonzo, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Episode 2, where in the last episode, I built this house, and as you can see, it's actually been updated a little bit since the last time I was here, and you also might be wondering, where have I been for the past week? I haven't uploaded any videos. Well, you see, there's a very simple answer for that, and that is... I broke my computer. You see, I tried to update my CPU in my computer, and it turns out that, well, at first I thought it wasn't a compatible CPU, which uh, in turn it actually wasn't, but no, the uh, motherboard got broken, so I had to wait for the parts to get in to fix that, and just all the other extra parts to get everything up and running. So, uh, that's how my week's been, but in the meantime, I've been thinking of strategies and new ideas to make wonderful new videos, so now my head is full of ideas, and now it's time to actually act on them. But first things first, as you can see, I have updated the front of the house just a little bit since the last time I was here. And it's actually looking pretty, pretty well, I'd say so. But the best part is, is that I actually decided to get some work done on the inside of the house. And now, it actually looks not that bad. Got my stairway upstairs, got some storage in here. Some standard crafting fare here, all that good jazz. And, of course, the upstairs bedroom with a nice walk-in window now because I raised the floor just a little bit because I didn't like the way it was overlapping with the top of the wall. But, no, I, I feel like this is a lot better of a design, so now I just gotta work on the roof and the bedroom, but that is... That's probably something for next time. I, I, I want to kind of, like, update the houses individually, but... With all that said, it is actually time to start working on a new project because we do have a house and we do have a mine. So now, what the best thing I should do is start working on actually creating an enchanting... Yes, an enchanting... Uh, huh. I actually don't know what I'm going to make. Is it going to be an enchanting library? Tower? All I know is I need enchanting because I have diamonds, I have leather somewhere around the area, and I have sugarcane, which I don't think I've started planting yet, so I should probably get to work on that. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a lot of leather, and I only have a couple of cows in my pastures that I've seen, and a horse. But I uh, I, I don't want to use the horse like that, that's a... Uh, yeah, that, I, I think that'd be a waste of a uh, mob. So what I'm going to do is get myself a nice little straw hat, get out my iron hoe, and we are going to start building up the farm, including a barn. That rhymed. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. So while I do want to get started uh, with getting the animals set up, I do acknowledge that I'm actually going to need a bit of a pen to actually hold said animals. So while I don't have it enchanted, I'm going to use my diamond axe, chop down that tree, and get a nice little mini pen set up for the animals when I bring them over, because we have quite a few animals to collect. And we all, we gotta catch them all. One tree chopped down, one fenced in the enclosure built. I think we're ready to start getting some animals. So, while I do have sheep here, uh, I'm not in danger of losing those. So, we're gonna hold off on gathering the sheep. Plus, I think... <laughs> Oddly enough, I have some already trapped in a little hole here. Oh, I actually have two pigs too, so I uh, don't have to worry about catching pigs. We already got two down, so... Technically, one out of three animals already caught. <laughs> Alright, so next thing on the list, I guess, is to uh, get ourselves some cows. We do have bees, so that's a... Ooh, two bees. Okay, we have enough to start a bee farm. Nice, apiaries for the win. But uh, right now, we need to get ourselves some Moo Moo friends. Moo Moo's have been acquired. I repeat, Moo Moo's have been acquired. And just like that, we have our cows, which for the most part is a good thing because now we can start breeding them. And I am going to need a lot of cows, but luckily I have a lot of wheat from the field I planted a little while ago. For a second, I thought there wasn't any seeds. Huh. Alright, so let's get these guys a nice, healthy... Oh, got a... I should probably make a path between these two. That I feel like that's something I should really work on, but nope. Do that. Oh, and we got the achievement. Nice. So now we'll start breeding up the cows. 
get ourselves plenty of meat, leather, and other supplies, and soon we'll be able to make that enchanting room. But for the most part, I need to get the rest of the supplies ready. So I guess the first thing I gotta do is clear out a place to actually put the barn. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put it. Well, the weather's kind of reflecting what it is outside for me at the moment, but I think I've figured this out. While I didn't exactly want to build my house right on top of the mine, I feel like putting the barn right here is going to be a nice little, it's going to be a nice little spot because now once I install a proper path, it will then lead down into the fields and put some more fields here. That is a creeper. Where did you come from? And of course, we've already started breeding some of the cows, and there is a uninvited visitor there. Gonna have to get them separated. But yeah, nope. Uh, it's time to actually get started on the barn because I have a few ideas, but I want to just try a few things. And that creeper is going to be a uh, concern of mine, so I'm just going to go take care of him real quick. So I think this is going to be a nice shape. I think the roof is going to be a big enough size. Got plenty of room in here to store all of our amenities, all of our crops, meats. Leathers, all that good jazz once I start getting that up. And did I? Hello? I'm gonna have to ask why are you in my wheat fields? Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, well. Oh, there's another one. I guess I've gotta deal with some pesky intruders. Oh, yep, pesky intruders. Well, the good news I tricked one of the pillagers to take out the leader so I didn't get the debuff. Good news, I've got an ominous banner, and now a crossbow, with a loaded arrow. Nice. Anyways, back to the farm. Alrighty, barn shell is more or less done. Just gotta work on the interior, and then I'm going to extend it out just a little bit this way. Probably some stables for the horses, because I know I can harness them. Probably gonna have to borrow the leads. And we also had a few cows grow up, so that's a good news. Gonna definitely have enough to start working on getting those enchanting tables. Well, actually, yes, we need the enchanting tables and the bookcases. So, first things first. Gather a bit more wheat. And we shall be all set and ready to go. Just like that, the barn is complete. Got quite a few things added. Got some barrels, got some chests. Uh, some standard workstations, and plenty of room to put in the horses once I get them all bridged in. Also installed in upstairs that I don't know what to do with. I seem to have a problem with not knowing how to fill the upstairs rooms, but I'll figure that out later. For right now, what I need to do is take care of the cows because we have this set up, so now I can start storing all this material, this lovely, lovely leather and meat here in a more proper area so got to clear out a bit of the land here make some proper stables and pens for all the cows and sheep i guess and i suppose also pull up the sheep and pigs that are stuck in this little hole here and i think there's a chicken too i keep hearing a chicken whenever i enter the house and there's the chicken gotta get him out of there so i at least stop hearing clucking whenever i go to sleep at night but first things first, I think it's finally time to add a path from the mine to the farm, and from the farm to the house. That way everything's all connected, and I at least have a centralized way to go about the area. Alrighty, first things first, I'm going to take some of this dirt here, smooth out the land, and just try and make things a little bit smoother in terms of the land, so it's going to be easier to put up the pen. Okay, did some terraforming, moved the cows, and oh. I put the llamas in here, and now they are missing. That is concerning. Anyways, what I was going to point out before I was uh, concerned is that I now have the cow farm all lined out, and I think it's looking pretty good. Getting lots of cows all bred up, so now we'll soon have all the leather we'll need to do the enchanting. I actually did uh, have to take care of a stray, so 
If I can find the leather, or not the leather, the sugar cane I have stored away, we might be able to at least get the enchanting table built. So do I have any... I do not have a whole lot. That is a problem. But we'll just do that. Make ourselves a book. Voila, and now I just need two of those diamonds I stored away. And I don't have any obsidian. That is a bit of a problem. Oh, uh, I also I still need to fix this mine because this does not look at all pleasant. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go get my diamond pick. Find a lava pool and get some obsidian. Very much danger down here, but I should be able to find the lava pool somewhere, and I actually forgot a bucket. That's going to be a problem. Ooh, skeleton. Although, ooh. Oh, this is, this is not fun. Well, while I'm fleeing for my life, I should actually take note of the... Or, not portal, the spawner just around the corner here. That way I can set up a mob farm a little ways later. And this is a zombie. Okay. Go away. Okay. Successful mining operation done. Close that. Don't want any excess creepers from nighttime. Diamonds. And voila. Enchanting table. Which we won't be using anytime soon because I still need to get, uh... Oop, let's put some of that stuff away. Still need to get plenty of books so we can actually build that proper library. But right now... I think it's time to, uh, breed up the cows again. So I think I still have some leftover wheat. And I think after this, I should start... I should start working on setting up another farm. I think I've had potatoes somewhere so I can start making a potato patch. Or I might try and get some work done on that farm because, uh, not farm, uh, XP farm. Because I know I have that one mob spawner down below. I think it's a zombie one. So right now, let's just get the cows all bred up and uh, see where we go from there. So by judging off the coordinates, this is where the mob spawner is. So that might be a slight problem in terms of setting up something. So I'll have to think about that. But what is that? Oh, wait, no, that's I remember. It's the ruins I still need to explore. We've got ourselves a nice little ruins here. Should be seeing some br drowned any second, but we'll deal with that later. Don't want to get too close to that, though, because that is the uh, ocean monument, and I'm not quite ready to deal with that, but... Ooh. Ooh. Got some goodies, and... Ooh, treasure. I don't see myself on the... Oh, uh... I think I can find that, but let's see if there's any other treasures in here. Oh, the good news is I found some extra treasure, got a lot more wheat, some rotten flesh, emeralds, which will come in handy later, and coal, and three treasure maps, and a enchanted fishing rod, which is actually pretty nice, not gonna lie. However, the bad news, these are all the exact same map. Oh well. Well, regardless, there are treasures to be had in those, and I still need to actually wait for the cows to, uh, recharge so I can read them again. So I guess a quick little journey out to see what we can find isn't a terrible idea. So the maps show it's right down here. Uh, I... I think I know where it is. Yeah. That was kind of anticlimactic, but I, it kind of works for me because I do really want to. Ooh, that was one thing. Okay, so our treasures include a heart of the sea, another diamond, plenty of wheat, some prismarine crystals, gold, iron, 
all the goodies that we come to expect from a journey. So let's put all that away. Don't really need the maps because we have plenty of them regardless. Also got some TNT. Gonna have to be very careful with that. But I think it's time to breed up the cows once more and see if I'll have enough leather for the books because let's see, I need 15 bookshelves. Uh, I'm gonna have to do the math. Okay, harvested the fields, got plenty of wheat. Actually, have, I actually have plenty of wheat. I can. I've got bread for days. Food is a solved mystery, and I think somewhere I have potatoes, so we can start doing some more potato farming. But right now, I suppose our biggest concern should be the roads because we still need to get the road system built for the farm the house and the barn so i'm just gonna go pick up the coarse dirt get some slabs and actually get a path working so we can connect the roads to our little builds i, I feel like that's something long overdue still gotta do a bit of work on the road but overall i think we've got exactly what we need got ourselves the barn connects to the house i think i'm gonna have it branch out that way because there's a lot of extra land right over here that i feel like could do wonders for extra farms pens and corrals so i think that's what we're going to do next because we ooh, I just realized we actually do have quite a few cows, so we might actually be able to gather the leather we need. However, I think... Where did I put the sugar cane? Oh yeah. The sugar cane still needs time to grow, and it looks like the village... Looks like the pillagers are trying to find something over there in the distance, but uh, they can just stay over there. But for right now, I think I should... Gather some leather. I think, let's see, I need 15 bookshelves, so that's 45 leather. Let's do this. Well, there went a lot of the cows I bred, but we have ourselves the leather we need, as well as a lot of the beef we got from collecting there, so we are pretty good on food for a little while now. Just gotta cook it up somehow. But uh, it looks like our pillager friends have, I guess, gone to explore the new world. And in the meantime, I think I need to start getting a few more things organized. Because while I do want to set up the enchanting table, we need to wait for all the sugarcane to grow. So that's going to be quite some time because I can't exactly speed that up with bone meal. So that's just going to be more of a waiting game for the moment. But... Overall, I think we're doing quite well. We've got ourselves the mine now, which I still need to work on the interior. Got the barn, got the pens. I think I think things are going quite well. Quite well indeed. And we also have the zombie farm that I need to get working. But first things first, I need to figure out how I'm going to set up the... Uh, set it up because it is literally in the middle of the water. So that is a small technical design issue that I'll need to um, work on. But the main thing I actually want to finish today is two things. First off, while I was exploring the uh, dungeon, yeah, that's it, the dungeon the other day, I forgot to realize, or I rather I forgot I got a name tag. So what I want you all to do is put down some suggestions on what I should name. Should I name one of my dogs? Should I name another pet? Just give me an idea of what we should name, or rather use the name tag for, because we got our wolves, we got our cows, we got our horses, we've got some pigs, some cows, and we got bees too. So that's another thing we could use it on. But what I actually want to do real quick is actually start looking for a village. I actually can't remember if I saw one previously, but for the moment, I think I'm going to just take a look around and see if there's a village within earshot that I could potentially 
get some villagers for so we can actually get some trades going. So in the meantime, I am noticing a lot of good flowers, which I could probably use to make some fields. So when I get back, I'm going to start making some fields for a carrots and potatoes. That's right. You need to get those planted first. Not exactly know what I was looking for. I will, however, take some extra loot and goodies from an abandoned nether portal. Which reminds me, I need to start getting ready to venture out into the nether myself, because I need brewing potions and other things of that nature. Well, dawn is nearly on us, and I have yet to find a single village. This is uh, a little troublesome. Uh, took an entire day's worth traveling in this direction, and have yet to find a single village so this might prove to be a bit of a problem may end up having to wait for a, a zombie villager to actually show up because i don't see anything uh, that's gonna help me out if Ooh, snowy peaks not bad but unless there's like a village right behind here i don't see any way how this is gonna Help me out, and did I predict the future? I don't know. No, I did not. Okay. Well, that's uh, mildly disappointing. Okay. Back to the base we go. Okay, so. Got our carrots growing in that little patch there. Got our potatoes growing there. Wheat's getting along quite nicely, and our cows, we're going to have to replenish our cows. But uh, for the most part, I think we're doing pretty okay now. Still could not find a single villager on the excursion back here, but what I did find instead was plenty and plenty of sugarcane. So once this patch grows up, we'll have just enough to get ourselves that enchanting station, and I feel like then we'll be all set to go. But with that said, I think this is actually a pretty good time to wrap up today's episode. So, I hope you all have enjoyed it. Next episode, we'll focus on finally getting the enchanting station up, get our tools enchanted. Hopefully, some good enchants will come along our way. And see about expanding the farm, add some more pens, kennels. Maybe even add some more wolves. Also, we still need to worry about the name tag. See what we have to name our pet. If you have any suggestions, make sure to leave a comment down below for any ideas of what we should name as our pet. And maybe, just maybe, we'll take a venture into the nether to get our plans in motion for getting some brewing stands and possibly find a zombie village that we can cure or something. I don't know. But with that said... I do want to thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and or night. Don't know what time it is for you. I'm going to assume both. And until then, I must bid you all adieu.